Right, I'm here to show you my newest and I think so far my biggest beading project to date. It's a little bit of a mystery at the moment, a very pretty beaded box with a lovely bow and the enticing Sweet Dreams title on the front. Now if I turn it over so you can see the bottom of the box, this might start to give you a few clues. So ingredients are seed beads and thread and the nutritional value looks pretty good to me, all pleasure and nothing bad in there. Any guesses as to what we might be finding inside the box yet? Well, let's come back up and see if the little booklet on top can give us a few more clues. So, enjoy calorie-free chocolates. Well, that sounds great to me. And we've got some lovely flavours in here. Violet cream, rose cream, lemon mousse, orange cream, berry kiss, chocolate melt, creme brulee, chocoholic, now that's one for me, and mint dream. So, let's see what all this is about. Now I'm just going to unfasten the bow here. It's a clever little magnetic clasp that just holds everything in place. And then the individual pieces of ribbon slip out from underneath this beaded loop. I say slip, but obviously they're held quite firmly here. So, that's the first one out. Second one out. Third one out. We can pull that down. And there we go, all ready to see what's inside. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal here? Let's open the lid and, oh wow, nine yummy chocolates. Let's just check out that little booklet again, see the flavours. So that one must be the violet cream, rose cream, oh and the lemon mousse there. Now, orange cream down there. I think that might be the berry kiss. Uh, chocolate melt, that sounds good. Or the creme brulee, and the chocoholic, and the mint dream. Now the question is, which one is for me? And I think there's only one answer here, chocoholic. And here we go. All these chocolates actually lift out and they've got storage space underneath. So this one, I've got a real, actual chocolate that I can eat. I just take one or two out, you can see empty storage space. So you can fill that with beads, treats, or anything else that you like, really. And uh, yes, just have some fun with this one. Now, there might be bits that you missed in all of that. So I'm going to show you next a few more detailed photos so you can take it all in a bit more. Enjoy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly found it a lot of fun to make, so hopefully that's inspired you as well. I'm just here to show you one more thing. That is this. It's, uh, you probably can't see it that well, but it is actually the first proof copy of my book detailing how to make the chocolate box. 
So I've put a couple of things into that, obviously the actual tutorial, but also I kept a journal while I was creating my chocolate box so you can see exactly what happened, what went wrong, all the things that went right as well. So I'll give you a little sneak peek into the book now and then I'll let you know where you can get it if you're interested. Okay, so what I've done here is created a book of essentially two halves. In the first section, it's my design journal. Now I get a lot of people asking me how I come up with ideas and how I create designs and I thought it would actually be quite nice to completely document the process. So here we start out with the time when I came up with the initial idea. Um, I've included all my first sketches and what I've done is go through day by day and show you what I've done that day, what problems I've been facing, what I've had to do to solve them and all the bits where I've had to try something and then take it all apart and I've illustrated it with photos of projects that I've used in the past that have inspired my chocolate box and all these step by step, well not step by step, the progress photos rather so you can sort of see things coming together in a way that you just wouldn't normally in an actual tutorial. So then we come on to the second half which is the bit you're after, the tutorial. And um, as you can see, that takes up a large chunk of the book. It gives you everything you'd expect in a tutorial, materials list, plenty of notes to help you through. And you've got uh, diagrams and photos to show you steps. Um, when we come on to the areas where you're beading in the peyote, I've given you word charts. Uh, so basically absolutely everything you need to make your own chocolate box and if you're feeling that the big version that I've created might be a bit of a challenge too far then in each section on the tutorial I've created these little red boxes that show you how to scale this down to a just 4x4 four four box of chocolates so the techniques don't change but it just becomes a much more manageable project so I, I hope that I've really given you something interesting here, something that will inspire you. And even if you don't actually make the chocolate box, it's just this huge insight into what it takes to design a project like this. And uh, yeah, maybe it will inspire you to start creating your own designs. Okay, if that's inspired you to have a go at making your own chocolate box, then the book is now available on Amazon. It's sold worldwide, so you just need to check out your local Amazon, whatever website that might be, and you should find a copy. I'll just leave you with a few more details, the ISBN, in case you need it. But really, I just want to finish up by saying thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed some of this, and uh, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I'll be sharing more videos like this, and also technique videos if you're learning to bead. So thank you, and happy beading!